Coach Greenlee in the ASICS booth, no less, here. Uh, last interview here, I'm heading home, gone on vacation. How is your vacation going so far here at the, the Coaches Convention? It's going good, you know. Uh, interesting, you know, I, I think some interesting stuff, some motivating things happen here, so uh, excited about it. I was looking at, you know, I've been talking to some of the other high Ohio coaches here, Josh Moore, Jim Anderson, guys you compete against for recruits. Um, we're talking social media. You and I were actually talking social media. You were setting the world on fire the other night with the, with the two tweets you sent in six weeks. It was it was pretty impressive, Coach. But do you guys look at when you're talking working about working my way into it? You're, you're, you're easing <laughs> into it. You're definitely easing into it. But looking at guys when you're recruiting guys when you're looking are you looking at social media are you looking at what what how they're conducting themselves yeah without a doubt i mean uh I, i'm not i'll be the first to admit i'm not real good at it as far as uh tweeting things out and instagram and all that but i'm pretty good at looking at it uh my two cents word is i kind of make a fool of myself tweets that my thumbs are so big stuff's misspelled <laughs> show me those show me those it looks, let me see it, it oh looks, my it looks, goodness it looks terrible so uh I, I don't tweet text or anything like that a ton but i do look at it a lot and yeah that's where you, you know it's a, it's another way to get a look at a kid when you guys come to this, you know, the coaches convention, NWCA does a great job of marketing programs. They're, you know, that's a big part for you guys. You got to market. You yeah. got to sell your program, um, mentorship, you know, leadership, working with young coaches. But they now have a recruiting event here. You know, they just added another thing. It's another. It's like a ten-headed dragon here. <laughs> when you come here, you can go over and look at some recruits, network some with some coaches. What are you looking for if you're going to do something like that? Networking and as far as recruiting at this event. Well, for me, I, I didn't. I'll, I'll I'll be honest, I didn't go to the combine. I'm a little leery of, hey, who's there? What's going on? Are they sophomores, freshmen, whatever? So uh, kind of try to stay away from that a little bit. I, I think it's a, a good thing and an exciting thing for the convention. Uh, but, uh, you know, to me it's more getting ideas. What are we going to do? What's something we can do to kind of move our program forward? Uh, I like the marketing thing a lot. You, you know, I think that's one thing everybody needs to really concentrate on is trying to grow their sport or grow their their team grow their fan base and along with growing the sport i was just talking to coach anderson you beat the golden flashes 38 to 2 this past year you know and it, and it, and it was pretty bad you won the, the plaque that we created a rivalry plaque and i'm guessing it's probably hanging in somebody's house right now in athens but it's in you the know, locker room on the wall baby building building rivalries though you know you and i talked about that yeah we marketed it and yep. it, it was a good event and then still is i think and i mean not nine matches to one usually is not pretty good uh I, well i don't know I don't know if any rivalry you have is going to be good every year as far as a, a two-point match or a one-point game or anything like that, but but it's still a rivalry. I think their guys look forward to it. I think our guys look forward to it. Our fans look forward to it. You look forward to it. I look forward to it. I'm sure Jimmy looks forward to it. Definitely, and that's, and that's something like here at this event, that's something you could rely on to maybe a younger coach who's yeah. trying to build a program. Yeah. Um, what can we expect from the Bobcats? you got a returning MAC champ at 125 pounds and Laney, who I'm pretty impressed with. He might be one of the best athletes you've ever coached. Dwight Gardner might have something to say about it. He's a pretty good athlete. Pretty but, good you know, athlete. that guy is a freak. Um, what do you guys got to do to, to get it, you know, eight to ten guys in the national tournament and, and going with a head of steam? Well, I think last year, I think if you look at the year, through the month of January, we were on fire. Much of the month of February, we, you know, the wheels kind of came off the bus. The bus, we got a bunch of guys hurt, we got a bunch of guys sick, uh, you know, had a few problems. Just didn't work out the way we wanted it to work. Uh, we don't, we don't lose one guy off of last year's team. Everybody's back. Uh, plus, we, I think we had a, a pretty good recruiting class. So, uh, you know, I think we had a, a great summer. We had, you know, probably 20 guys commit to staying in Athens and doing and working out and lifting weights and running and all that th all that stuff so uh, I'm looking forward to the year I, I think we're going to be I think we're going to be pretty good I'm not going to you know we're, we're still pretty young but we're going to be pretty good all right coach you got meetings and stuff going on here I know you're schmoozing with the ASICs guys you got anything else for me that's it that's all I got keep setting the Twitter world on fire don't snatch me up if I get a little lippy online because now I'm in arm's reach. Now you can get me, man. I'm waiting I'm, on a bear I might, hug. I might tweet out a photo of you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the time, Coach. All right, thank you.